today's new awesome technology update is Tinkercad Classrooms. I'm gonna walk you through today the new Tinkercad Classrooms, how to set up your classroom, what it looks like for students, and what the best way to share the information with your students is. I cannot wait for you to see these updates. I'm Liz Gallo, the founder of YMaker, which is a different kind of professional development company for teachers. We are built on helping support teachers to be confident and comfortable to teach any sort of STEM or maker ed project in their classroom. Check us out online at whymaker.co, W-H-Y-M-A-K-E-R.co to see some of our new offerings this year for ways we're working to help support all teachers be comfortable and confident being maker educators. We're so excited you're joining us today for this video. And if you wanna get in touch and have some more videos sent your way, click the subscribe button below and like this video so that you get notified when we post more videos about some cool maker ed and STEM stuff that we're doing here at YMaker and with teachers around the world. You know how when you ask your students to log on to a website and you grit your teeth when you do that because you know the next 10 to 20 minutes of your life is going to sound something like this? Ms. Gallo, what's my password? Ms. Gallo, what website do we go to? Ms. Gallo, I don't remember my email address. Ms. Gallo, whose account is this? Ms. Gallo, what is that? Where is that squiggly sign again? Ms. Gallo, I don't I, it's not working. I can't find it. Ever been there before? Me too. I know what it's like. But our friends at Tinkercad have created a new solution to help get kids on the Tinkercad platform and designing in 3D much faster. So Tinkercad is a tool that we use to help students learn how to 3D design and then be able to send stuff to the 3D printer. Tinkercad also gives options for laser cutting and laser engraving. There's a really cool circuits feature, which I've used with students a lot. And there's a code blocks on Tinkercad, which you can code uh, block-based coding to build 3D models, which is incredible for students to really take their computer science and their maker skills to the next level. So let's jump into Tinkercad classrooms so we can learn all about it and help, our, help ourselves, help our students be so successful at 3D printing in the classroom. From the homepage of Tinkercad.com, you are going to sign in just like you would normally do to get into your Tinkercad account. Uh, it's going to prompt you to put in your username and your password and you're going to sign it. If you have not made a teacher account in the past, now is the time to make a teacher account. I already have a teacher account, but if you didn't, you would click on teach and there would be a little box here that says apply for a teacher account. You would click that and it'd pop up with two questions and you'd answer them and you'd become, and you'd get an automatic teacher account. Uh, when you do that, you'll realize that here on the Tinkercad Teach page, there's tons of great resources for you to help you get started using Tinkercad and then some. There's a great educator webinar series that you should watch uh, to help you get inspired about teaching with 3D modeling and Tinkercad in your classroom. There's ways to connect with parents, uh, and then a bunch of resources. So they have professional development resources, blogs about professional development resources, uh, where YMaker has in-person and online 3D pr printing and 3D modeling and design thinking or professional development workshops just for you. So make sure you check us out. And there's these really cool classroom decoration posters that you can download and print. I love these. So there's tons of great stuff here under the teach account, the teach area of Tinkercad. 
uh, once you become a teacher, you're going to go, let's go to classroom, or you're going to click classes up here. It brings you to the same place. When you get here, you'll notice that I already created a class today for my uh, period two class this school year. And to show you how this is done, I'm going to create uh, my second class for the second class I teach during the day. So I'm going to click create new class. It is my quarter one, period three, sixth grade class. Uh, I'm going to choose their age level, and I kind of think this is pretty cool because Tinkercad's probably collecting some data about the ages of the children that that are using Tinkercad. I'm going to select my area that I teach, my subject that I teach, and I'm going to click Create Class. Now you'll notice in my period 2 class, I have 27 students. In my period 3 class, I have zero students. That's not real. So I'm going to click on the name of the class and I am going to see some options. I'm going to add some students. So I'm going to click add students and it gives me an option to add one student at a time. And that is something that I can do. So I can type in, you know, my student and it automatically generates a nickname for them. Their nickname is just like a username. but Tinkercad, I don't love this. I don't love that there's that underscore there. Children don't know how to get to that. So I'm going to erase that underscore and I'm going to change the last numbers to uh, the year that they're going to graduate. Because in my school, that's how their email addresses look. So I'm going to have their first name, their last name, and then the year that they graduate. I'm going to click Save Changes and I'm going to notice back here that my student was added successfully. I also have the option to paste a list of students. So if I click this, it makes it much faster. I don't have to do one at a time. It says type or paste a list of students, one name per line. So I have a text file right here of all of my students. And I'm going to paste all of my students right here. I'm going to add 21 students to this class. And you'll notice that their nicknames have that underscore that I don't really love. Uh, now this is a personal option. Uh, I will go through and change all of their usernames to make it consistent so that it's easier to, to share with students. So I will go through, erase all of these underscores and change the uh, the numbers at the end so that they all match to get some consistency to my students. Okay, once I've done that, I will take the time to do that. Once I've done that, all my students have nicknames. It is easy peasy from here. I'm going to click class code and it's going to pop up with this number. It's kind of similar to Google Classroom where you get a Google Classroom code. Now this long, you know, long letter number thing. If you just click on this green thing, it says your classroom code has been copied. We're going to need that in a second. Down here are the four steps of instructions to help kids get logged in. So we'll go through how a student logs in in a, in a second, but I want to show you how I would share this information with my students so that they can access it at all times and easily. And this is my Google Classroom for that class. I'm going to share with them all the information they need to know about how to log on to Tinkercad so that they always have access to it, they always know where it is, and if they don't ask me 100 questions, I can just say, check your Google Classroom, it's in your Google Classroom, check your Google Classroom, it's in your Google Classroom. So I'm going to share that information with them here. It's Tinkercad sign-on instructions, click join class, Enter class code, which is this. Enter your personalized nickname, which is your first name, your last name, and the year you're graduating. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to link them. This is a little, a little hack here. I'm going to use this Google Classroom link button, and I'm going to link them directly to the page where they go to log on. The page they go to log on is tinkercad.com slash join class. I'm going to come back to my Google Classroom, paste that here in the link, click add link, and when I post this, 
they will go to this link and they will join the classroom right away. Now, let's imagine being a student and logging in to Tinkercad through the classroom experience. So as a student, I'm gonna click on that link in Google Classroom. It's gonna bring me right to this page. I'm going to paste my classroom code here. Go to my classroom. It's gonna ask me for my nickname. I'm going to type in my nickname, which was my first name, my last name, and the year I graduate. As a student, I get logged on to a regular looking dashboard where I can create my new design for to 3D, my 3D design, or I can do circuits, or I can do my code blocks, or I can check out some lessons. So just like any other Tinkercad experience, I'm gonna create a new design. And with my students, the first thing they do is they create a name tag uh, so we all understand the basic shapes. So I'm just gonna drag out, uh, make like a, make a, a simple looking kind of situation here. I'm going to do it wrong for a reason, and I'm going to add the text, and her name was Sina. I'm going to change it to Sans, because I don't like that font color. I'm going to make it purple, even though color doesn't matter. Uh, and there we go. I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm going to make sure we change the name so we can find it later. And this is what a student would experience. So many less steps than it has been in the past to get into a Tinkercad experience. I love, love, love this new feature. It's really going to alleviate a lot of those issues that children were having. Let's head back over to the teacher classroom side so we can see how we can access all of the students work, which is probably my favorite part about the new Tinkercad classrooms. Now I'm back in my Tinkercad classroom side with my list of students. Uh, I'm going to see that these two students in this class have logged on. So I'm going to click on Zimara and I will see all of her designs. I can see right here her first design she did, her name tag, except it looks like it's missing her name. I can see something she was exploring with here. That's kind of cool what she was trying to do there. And I can see the project she's working on with her class. So I can click on her name tag and I can see that hmm, her name is missing. It looks like she got the size of the block right, but her name is missing. So I'm gonna scroll down right here and I can leave comments for her. The size looks great, but you're missing your name. Make sure you finish this before the end of the unit. Post comment. And my comment will pop up below and she will be able to see it as well, which is so cool. You can also click onto her projects and you can like it so she knows that you're watching, you're checking it out. You can see her circuits, her code blocks, her lessons, and you can do this for all your students. This saves you so much time than trying to go back and forth and back and forth to get to their stuff and logging into their accounts and making them come and log into their accounts. So this is probably one of my favorite features about Tinkercad uh, is this experience that students get, that teachers get to work with their students' projects. Another great feature as a teacher is you can now see all of their projects and access the final projects to download, to be put to the 3D printer or to the laser engraver. So if you click into one of their projects, you also have the ability to download it. You can choose if you want an STL file to send to your, your 3D printer, uh, an OBJ or a laser engraving project. You click that, it's gonna download right to your computer so you can queue up all of the students' work without having to have them use flash drives or send it to the cloud, you can be in control of that whole experience for them, which might save you a lot of headache if you've given, if it's been difficult for you in the past. So that's all for this life-changing 
update to my favorite maker ed tool, Tinkercad. Uh, let me know if this video was helpful by giving me a thumbs up and leave me some comments. Let me know what you think of the new Tinkercad classroom and tell me some other maker and STEM tools you're excited about and would like some quick tutorials on. I'd love to make them for you. I absolutely love doing this. So click the subscribe button to get some updates to our channel and uh, keep being an awesome teacher. We'll see you later, Ymaker family.